festival, cake rolls, lunch, that and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Ivan. And I'm Yasmin. For today's lunch, Lines one and two, orange chicken. Line three, soup and salad bar, broccoli soup. Line four, omelet with sausage links. And line five, four by six pizza. If you purchase a 2018-2019 yearbook, the spring supplement pages are in and available to pick up in the bookstore starting on Monday. Sales for the 2019-2020 book will begin soon. We wish a special happy birthday to Adriana Eleni Santian, Dylan Hilton Hillock, and Rodrigo Valdez Sandoval. And our special staff birthday goes out to Mr. Brackett. Now to sports with the man, the myth, Israel Angeles Jr. Thanks guys. For sports today, the boys hot dog soccer team hosted and defeated the Eastern Commons 6-1 in the regular season play. Alex Beltran found the back of the net in six minutes into the match. Frankfurt's final goal of the night was scored by sophomore Christian Mejia on a penalty kick. Frankfurt will play next on Monday when they host conference for West Bo Western Boone kickoff is at 5.30. The girls' golf team took on Hamilton Heights and Crawfordsville last night. Sydney Caesar led the team with a 51. Emily Shipley shot a 52. Sam Sharp finished with a 60. Tori Hopkins shot a 63. Raylan Mitchell finished with a 67. We'll be back into volleyball results after this band commercial. Time. The one major, is your band ready? Guys, can you believe that there was a freaking foul? Be quiet! There's a band? The band! The Franklin Hot Dog Band. The volleyball team traveled to Western on Wednesday evening and defeated the Panthers in the intensive five game match. Ashley Timmons and Claudia Roberts led hitting in 15 and 13 kills and also held down the defense with 32 and 16 digs respectively. The JV played well but fell to Western 0-2. Last night, both JV and varsity fell to West Lafayette. No details are available at production time. I'm Ms. Angeles Jr. Now into weather with my compita Ivan. Happy Friday, hot dogs. For weather today, it is currently 62 degrees and tomorrow and today will be mostly cloudy. Later this evening, it will be 75 degrees and it will gradually work its way down to 60 degrees. Tomorrow, it will be a high of 75 and a low of 55. For Sunday, there will be a high of 71 and a low of 55. That's all for the weather. I'm Ivan Santos. Now back to your host. I'll wait until the time. Thanks, Ivan. DECA members will be selling Audrey's pumpkin and gourmet cake rolls for their fall fundraiser. Cake rolls will be sold for $18 and will be delivered in early November. There are a variety of flavors being sold. If you'd like to purchase one, con contact any DECA member. Juniors, don't forget to sign up for the PSAT with your community teacher by today. The PSAT will be held October 30th. This is a free and helpful tool to prepare you for the actual SAT. The college fair will also be held at Roswell High School on September 12th. It will start at 5.30 and end at 7. Now to a message from Esmeralda Cruz about the Hispanic Heritage Festival. Hello FHS students, my name is Esmeralda Cruz and I work for the Clint County Purdue Extension Office as a Health and Human Sciences Educator. But today I'm here as a part of a committee that's being led by the City of Frankfurt in order to organize our first Hispanic Heritage Festival. This festival is going to be held on Saturday, October 5th from 4 to 10 p.m. and it will be at Veterans Park. One of the things that we are embedding as a part of this new event is what we call the essay contest for high school students. And this essay contest, we're inviting all Frankfurt High School students, grades 9 through 12, 
to submit an essay on the theme of what are the benefits of a multicultural community. We're actually extending the deadline. We are now asking for essays to be submitted by Monday, September 9th by midnight, and it, it just needs to be submitted by email. You will find all of that information um, on the flyer, which I know we have several departments here at the Frankfurt High School promoting this opportunity for you. Uh, but my name is Esmeralda Cruz, and I do have uh, school emails. So if you just look for Esmeralda Cruz, I should come up uh, right in your email. With regards to the length of the essay, it's quite short. We're asking for up to 500 words, and can be, it can be less than that. And there are some specific guidelines mentioned on the flyer that you need to keep in mind as you're working on it. Um, we also want to make sure that we thank our sponsor for, for this essay contest, which is Lions Club, because we will be offering some um, prizes to our first, second, and third prize winners. Our first place winner will get $200, second place $100, and third place $50. So we hope that you take this opportunity to share your thoughts, to let your voice be heard with regards to your experience of living in a multicultural community. I look forward to receiving your essays coming through by email. Again, just make sure you do that over the weekend or by Monday, September 9th by midnight. If you have any questions, please do feel free to contact me either by email or by phone number. My, phone, my office number is 659-6380, extension 1823. Thank you. So you're saying I can write an essay and win up to $200? Yeah, Jasmine, the essay is super easy and I already submitted mine. And I think out of the four people that submitted it, I think I'm going to win. And don't forget the festival she mentioned. What was the Hispanic f festival it, about? It's a Hispanic Heritage Festival that will be held on October 5th. The festival will have many events and a lot of vendors. I think I'm going to go. That's it for the announcements, people. Have a fantastic Friday, Hot Dogs. We will see you on Monday.